Yo, what's going on people? So, tomorrow is day one of week three of your summer internship. For those of you watching this and you haven't started your internship yet, you know, you're getting this advice ahead of time, so make good use of it. By now you're probably settling in, you know, you know, where things are in the building, you're comfortable with your team, you know who does what in the organisation and across the division that you're interning in. So today I'm going to give you a few pointers to consider going into week three and things for you to think about and do for the upcoming week. You've got eight or so weeks left of your summer internship, so what's important for you to do is start setting yourself some goals that you wanna achieve by the end of your summer internship. Now these could be things like the number of catch-ups you wanna do each week, or the number of people that you wanna meet across the 10 week summer internship. It could be getting a positive review or outperforming on your mid-internship review that comes up in week five or six, and we'll do a video on that, on how to best approach your mid-internship review, what's the best way to go about it, questions to ask and all of that in the video in week four or week five you're probably working on a project right your summer internship project now this is very important because you're going to present it to everyone that you meet towards the end of your internship now next week week three what you want to do is start planning at what date you want to present that presentation because you don't want to do it on week 10 because after you do that your internship's going to end typically it's good to present your sum your final summer internship project in week eight or week nine or basically the penultimate year of your summer internship and the reason for that is if let's say you're doing a 10-week summer internship you do your final project presentation on week nine that gives you a whole week left where you don't need to work on your project you can just focus on desk work and networking, just those two things, as opposed to desk work, networking, and your summer internship project. Because over the next seven or so weeks, your summer internship project is gonna take up a lot of your time. And it's gonna be one of the most important factors of your work over the summer internship. Also next week, you wanna kind of think about who in the organization do you wanna meet specifically? You know, by the end of your summer internship, if you leave the organization and go back to uni, are you gonna regret not meeting, you know, this research analyst or this, managing director or this person who's contributed X, Y, and Z to the industry or to the firm specifically. So make a list of like five people that are key people that you want to meet throughout your internship. And it's best to do that now because as an intern, you've kind of got that free pass where you can reach out to them. You can, you know, mention something that they've done or, you know, a news article that they've been in and then use that as a reason to catch up to them, catch up with them and find out more about their story, about their work, all of that. So five people that you want to meet regardless of the division or you know the area of the firm that they work in make a list of five people that you want to meet by the end of your internship all right next thing you want to do in week three is set up a meeting with hr human resources <clears throat> there's going to be someone in the hr team who's leading campus recruitment or who's managing you know your internship experience right it's always good to have a good relationship with them because sometimes they could be key to key decision makers in you know whether you not necessarily whether you get an offer or not that lies with your managing director or your leader in your team but HR are always going to be contacting your manager back and forth to find out how things are going with you and it's just good to be on the good side of HR so the key contact within campus recruitment that is leading your internship set up a 30 minute catch up with them in week three just so they know your face know your name because there's going to be lots of interns right and you want to just have a good you want to break that barrier and just have a good relationship with them. So anytime you need something, because sometimes on your internships, things aren't going to go as planned. And when you need to talk to someone, HR is a good point of contact. So make sure you set up a 30 minute catch up with someone or the campus recruitment lead who's managing your internship. All right, keep in mind your mid internship review is coming up in about two or three weeks. What that is, is basically at the middle of your internship, you are going to sit down with your manager. They are going to get feedback from everyone that you've worked with across your team, across other teams. You're going to write, you're going, they're going to ask you basically, oh, who have you worked with? Who do you want me to reach out to, to give feedback on you over the last five weeks? They're going to reach out to those people. They're going to give feedback on you. And then you're going to sit down with your managing director and they're going to tell you, this is what you're doing good. Great. And this is what you're doing bad or what you can improve on. Now, it's good to have a few things to improve on because those who secure summer internship offers or convert summer internship offers into grad schemes are those who show the most progression after your mid-internship review. So no investment bank or no firm wants to see you progressing, like just going along steadily. Everyone wants to see steady growth, right? You want to go upwards to the right. And so between weeks one and week five, you're settling in. You could be messing about. You could be, well, not messing about. You could be performing poorly. But if they mention that in week five on your summer internship, mid internship review, and then between weeks five and week 10, you show drastic improvement, 
you're likely to get an offer because it shows you can take on feedback, improve upon it and then grow. And so it's more about an investment in potential as opposed to just investing in someone who just steadily rolls along. So keep that in mind. And then, yeah, going into week three, just keep those three things in your mind. Desk work, catch ups and uh, your project work. Those are the three things you should be most focused on. That's how you should split your time. I keep seeing comments about people saying, how am I meant to do full catch ups in a day? when I've got so much work to do. To be honest, four catch-ups in a day is nothing. At the bare minimum, you should be doing two catch-ups a day. If you can't do that, you're probably in the wrong industry because to be honest, you're working, you're gonna be working, it's not a nine to five, you're gonna be doing 10, 11, 12 plus hours a day. Two catch-ups is just one hour from that day. So if you're struggling, try and be more efficient, try and be more productive, wake up earlier, you know, just manage your day properly. Try and do at least two catch-ups a day because oftentimes, you know, the biggest, the number one issue or problem that interns or university students have is they say they don't have a network. They don't know who to reach out to in the industry, whatever. On your summer internship, that's a prime opportunity for you to build your network. Two catch-ups a day, that's 10 a week. That's 100 people over 10 weeks. When you go, when you go back to university, you're going to have a network of 100 employees at a top investment bank or at an investment bank consulting firm, whatever it is. So your network is gonna expand and then you can reach out to those people whenever you want, you know, go for a coffee, even as a third year uni student, just meet them, meet up with them in the city, whatever it is. So it's all about thinking forward. It's all about planning for the future, whether you get an offer or not, there's no harm in networking. It's hard, as an introvert, I struggled, trust me. I went to these catch-ups. I don't know what to talk about, I was baffled, but, you later on realize that, you know what, it was worth going to these meetings, it was worth meeting these people and networking because, you know, it's just good to broaden your network in the industry. And also, regardless of the industry specifically, it's good to meet lots of different people because you can learn from them. So keep that mindset at the forefront of your internship and you'll be fine. Anyway, good luck for week three and I will see you next week Sunday for advice on week four. Peace.